All right, welcome everybody. Uh, oh, I'm not even in a video. <laughs> uh, which one episode is this? Episode, okay, sorry. Uh, episode 35, uh, continuation of more footwork uh, until I'm further bored. But episode 35, we're gonna work on a little bit of the footwork and continue the individual patterns uh, and lumping them together as far as for, uh, opposite motions when you do it in general. So here we have the 180, the 180 degree angle turn. 180's functionality is basically imagining you circling around, dealing with multiple opponents. You don't go, ah, I fight him here, I fight him here, and then oh, what, which, how do I get to this, this point? This is actually learning to spin yourself, figure, figure skating style, to, um, uh, to control your center of gravity. So as, as we've seen before, uh, for example, if I take a forward step, right? Four, I take a forward step, I do 180. My direction of doing the 180 is from here, Right, I'm, I'm adjusting, right? One turn, and then now I'm facing in this direction, the opposite way. If I watch, I take a little step back, and now I'm facing this direction, the same way is same way involved. Be careful, right? When you do 180 and you want to practice it, you can break it down where you go one, two, right? Right, like you're on the surf, cowabunga style. Uh, Mutant Ninja Turtle style, right? Surf, and then spin yourself around, and then now you're facing the other way, okay? Or I one, two, and then spin, spin myself all, all the way around. The key thing, right, when you practice 180 is like the same thing. If you're riding a bike, you can't go one, then two. You gotta actually continue the motion in, 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 uh, in conjunction with each other. In, so break down, it's okay if you have to mentally break down one, okay, now turn foot, step, and then take the turn, and then same thing here, take the step, and then take a turn. It's okay to break it down, but remember to practice it, think overall what you're trying to practice in terms of development, right? In terms of development, I need that momentum, that motion to make sure can I actually control my center of gravity? So if I do that, if I do, if I do the 180, I have to have a continuous flow. See, I have a continuous flow in motion. If I do that one, one continuous flow in motion, even though I'm not going fast, I'm doing one continuous flow in one motion. Right? One, two. Okay. So some simple tips when you're doing uh, the 180. Right is that you want, if I'm facing square in this direction, like let's say this is 12 o'clock, I do my turn, don't be at 11.30, right? You want to be exactly now, I'm facing six o'clock here, or actually that's 12. If I'm facing 12 o'clock at 11.30, then don't be at, what is this, uh, 5.30, and then this is six, right? So here I want to turn again, here I'm facing six o'clock, I do the turn, now I'm facing like one o'clock. No, I want to face at 12. So make sure you control it going from 180. Don't go 175. Don't go 185. You want to make sure from here, working on the rail system again. From here, we have the rail system looking at 6 o'clock. Looking at 12 o'clock. Okay? And that's when I want to make sure I'm doing 180 from one point to another. The other thing uh, you, I want to state with, with that is when you maintain that squareness, it's so key, right? Because otherwise, you're gonna be flexing the, on this way at a slight angle. Oh, uh, you got you can't be like I'm square. I lose it. I try to get square again. This is square. I that's why my hands are here. Either you go like this or this to help you in that position. This is square. Ah, okay. I know I'm square here, right? Boom. Oh, now I know I'm square here. So it helps you give you a, not only a form of reference as far as going on the train tracks evenly from one point to another, but also this is, you remember, this helps you with the stretch and you gotta maintain that stretch, which is hard to do at the very beginning because you just don't have that uh, ability, ability to multitask multi uh, that many things at one time, okay? So with the 180 involved, remember, it's center of gravity constantly in motion and controlling that. You may look ugly in the beginning where you're like rocking it. Oh shoot, I can't control it. Ah. You're rocking your center of gravity, you gotta be at the point with center of gravity, glass on the water, glass on the head, boom, control it, center of gravity in place, okay? That's where you wanna get. The half angle uh, in conjunction uh, with this, I wanted to lump this in together. The half angle basically is some kind of adjustment 
when you go in one direction and instantly it changes before you can finish it to go in the other direction. So for example, the force pushes me back, right? I don't actively step back. The force pushes me back and my weight uh, is like almost up to the point where it's gonna land and then I, I'm, I'm here, okay, in a backwards step motion. But in reality, if the force pushes me back, imagine there's a certain amount of pressure. The force pushes me back, then lines up and then starts fading away from me. Then I'm gonna, then with that half, half step, I'm gonna take my step forward. So I, it may be easier to see from the side of you. The force pushes me back. If it pushes me back and it stops like this, fine, you took a backward step. If the force pushes me back and then all of a sudden lets up, see my, this is here, it lets up and then all of a sudden there's a gap that's gonna happen. What happens? I don't let it make, lose that gap. So the half angle is basically in one direction the force pushes you. And before it can plank you all the way, it loosens up and retreats back? No. As Wing Chun practitioner, once you close the gap, you always maintain that, that gap. You don't let it re-gap again, okay? So in other words, uh, all of a sudden, someone pushes you back. And then he jumps all the way forward. Well, then no good. No good. You got basically, someone pushes me back, then he moves, uh, he moves uh, 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 back again, I can maintain that distance forward, back, 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 forward, back, maintain it like you're doing a dance, like there's no separation between you. So with the half distance, whether I go, uh, the half angle where I go to the side, maybe I go to the side, then I switch off and go a different direction. Maybe I go this uh, half angle backwards, then I go forward in this direction. Maybe I go forward and force is too much, then I go back in that direction, right? So the half angle basically is like, half the uh, a cha a momentum changer, right? So in other words, it, 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 uh, you go in a certain direction, it changes and loosens up, you, then you don't maintain that distance from it, either way, okay? So right now, hopefully that helps you, 180 half angle. Oh, actually, let's combine that together. If you practice, let's say you, actually different ways to practice uh, 180. I could be from here, 180, right? 180, right? Or I take a step, I'm doing 180. And then 180. See, by doing that, I'm going, so here, I'm turning to the left side for 180. Here, I'm turning to the right side. So I'm practicing one versus the other. If you want to do it where you're like reversing, uh, you maintaining the same side over and over again, just do it this way. So if, I, if I'm here, I do the 180, and then from here, you practice half angle. If I do half a step, right, I don't plant this. Don't plant this all the way down. I do half a step, bobs, and then I turn 180. So then, then I did left side, then right side. So for, for example, watch again. Turn, 180, left side, half, turn, left side again. All right, that makes sense? So from here, turning the left. Because I do the half, I turn the left again. So you do the same side over and over again with the half angle. If you don't do the half angle, you do turn, left side, turn, right side. So just a different uh, way to, explore two different motions, uh, left, left, right, left, right, okay?